So we start with the question, what, what is meditation? Mm. Meditation is actually basic idea is uh, we cultivation about quality of mind. We try to cultivate a good quality of mind. So everybody have a good quality and bad quality of mind. So we try to cultivate the good quality of mind is a meaning of meditation. If you someone he meditate long time, his mind qualities must be become better and better. So this is a meaning of meditation. Mm. Right? Okay. okay. Um, so the next question would be, why should we meditate? So many reasons. So because the depend on what you want, right? But the basic of people become want to meditate because they want to be free from suffering. Because the mind is the bad quality of mind is suffer. So we try to cultivate good quality of mind is um, suffering less and less and less. That is a uh, most of people they want to get this peaceful happiness. But actually, we need to understand. We try to understand. That is the the aim of right uh, meditation. To to peaceful and calm down and the wisdom growing. That is a we practice a satipatthana or we pass on meditation aim, right? But my English is not very good, so try even <laughs> after that you can mm -hmm. change. <laughs> <laughs> and and also this is a yeah the wisdom we try to understand the nature about this. What is this? And we are what the what? How to say? What is this? Huh? How this working? We want to understand this physical um, process and mental process. These are our nature. We try to understand the nature. That's why, if you understanding the mind nature, then we can, we can. Direction good, direction go to the quality of mind better and better. Mm. That's why we should be meditate. Mm. And so meditation is a two way. Some is a uh, uh, concentration practice. Some is uh, uh, inside meditation. Its aim is different. Concentration practice is to make only peaceful and happiness calm down. But we personal meditation is for understanding. So when you have understanding, then peaceful and happiness also together. So we should be aim our practice for understanding. If you understand it, everything is good, everything is okay. Because our wisdom knows what is good, good, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong. So we try, we can understand it as it is. Because of this understanding, the defilement, we try, we can overcome the defilement. So we are free from suffering. Right? And so. Okay. What is the difference between understanding and happiness? Uh, different. Happiness is feeling. The feeling state. Understanding is uh, wisdom. How to say? Understanding clearly what is, what it is. How this works. And uh, we can understand everything about detail, about cause and effect, how they are working, what relationship have. Because of understanding, uh, this is a obviously, this is a nature. The looted and understanding is opposite. Because of the looted, we get the defilement increase. So now we because of understanding the load, the mind cannot dilute it, so with the defilement cannot appear. That's why we have become peaceful and happiness. So real happiness without understanding cannot get it. So for for a beginner who maybe never meditated before, how should we meditate? Oh, this is a wait, wait, maybe sound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> delete. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> how to meditate? Meditation is. Uh, how to meditate? Huh? <laughs> we don't know. Very we have, to we have never done that before. <laughs> I'm I'm telling the people. I share the people to to be aware about ourselves, about the uh, how to say <laughs> awareness. Awareness, we try to cultivate the awareness. Meditation is a cultivation, right? So we try to cultivate awareness, concentration, not some concentration, awareness, sati, uh, samadhi, effort, faith, and wisdom. This is the five quality is working. So when we are mindful, this quality of mind is active, working. So we try to cultivate this quality of mind. So that's why we all the time we need to practice and cultivate the mind quality better and better. Mm. So you can use many objects. We have a six object. Six and door, we have a six object. We use the object to grow our quality of mind. This awareness, but you can you can see any kind of quality of mind. You can use um, how to say Good quality of mind, you can increase with more loving kindness, karuna, mudita, upeka. You can cultivate this quality of mind also. And aloba, adoda, amoha, many ways. Aloba means non attachment. Adoda is non violent, not, 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 not angry. And amoha is a, a wisdom. So, whatever you call this, call good quality of mind, increase to cultivate, growing. That is a meditation. So we so we use awareness. Without awareness, uh, the, the the samadhi also cannot come in. Wisdom also cannot come in. So awareness is a very important to be basic meditation. So we need to learn about this awareness. So many people they they not understand very well about the awareness. They use a lot of focusing, mm. concentrate too much. So try to explain about the meaning of awareness. So awareness is not forgetting about your sex and door. It is a basic idea. Aware about yourself. Mm. Everybody have a six o object only. No more seven object. Right? <laughs> <laughs> only six object. So if you aware yourself means is this we aware of our sex and door. So we can use any object to to use the object to grow our quality of mind. Sometimes we use a focal object. Many meta, many techniques is anapana or rising, falling, or any body sensation. There is a in Satipatthana Sutta is the Buddha teaching is advice is a four ele, four object. Kaya, Vedana, Chitta, and Tama. So this is an object. So we need to tell about people this uh, kaya. If you pay attention to the, your body sensation, is a kaya nupasana. Uh, just you can translate, no? and <laughs> and also we try to learn about the feeling, present, unpleasant, neutral, equanimity. You always watching about the feeling mean is uh, with the nupasana. Then we try to watch all the time with the mind activity. So this is the citta nupasana. Then this kaya with the citta become. Nature, no body. This is a nature, no personal. Then you understand it that way, then become Dhamma no Pasana. It is mm. an object. But important thing is uh, we should explain about the yogi to when you meditate without craving, aversion, delusion. That is the main important thing. People, they try to do something, then they don't know what state of mind and they do it. Object is al already there. We not cultivate the object. Object is already there. Mm. Naturally of happening. We are trying to cultivate the discard your mind. So quality of mind must be Dhamma mind or wholesome mind or good quality of mind. If you can use this you can you don't know the mind, then you can 
maybe you can use this craving expectation ex expectation and one thing one thing did one thing that and if you practice with this craving then a lot of problem come so this uh, we cannot call meditation this is not good quality of mind but this is a habit most of people they have a habit whatever they do with the this craving aversion and delusion so beginning i told the yogi don't use too much effort not effort this energy don't use too much energies because if your craving come then you use energy if you aversion and you break this with aversion then also use energy become tense and also we don't know how to do clearly then we use a lot of effort a lot of energy so so be careful about this what state of mind in your meditating this is most important point about in the meditation so we need to explain how to do first so what is the meditation how to meditate nature of the meditation is what if you clear uh, you must clear yourself first before you practice it otherwise then you're confused and down and try to do very confused and become tense and a lot of problems so this is the basic huh? and also right view we need to explain about right view this is for we pass in the meditation inside meditation is the right view is very important right attitude right view is we try to learn from the nature we try to understand in the nature so we must look everything is become nature in the nature is no personal actually also this physical process mental process is nature but we think it is I me so this is how we in Buddha teaching this is a wrong view now we need to start right this right view so we need to have this attitude idea and you need to watch or aware and we can learn the nature as it is hmm. so very important about before practicing you need to know about the right view what is the right view and what attitude and this meaning of awareness mean, mean, meaning of samadhi meaning of effort meaning of faith meaning of wisdom so you must understand what quality of mind we are cultivating so that's why we need to check or very often we need to check the mind state how what state of mind and we meditate okay that's enough that's good mm -hmm. this is the basic important things if you're not understanding this thing one day you you become problem <laughs> <laughs> Um, why? How? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Why? Where? Why? Have we covered where? Well, we where? Where you should be meditating? Yeah, yes. that leads into yeah. the question oh. like, how important is uh, practice in daily life? Oh, because if your daily life practice where mind is calm down and we can think reasonable, we have a uh, wisdom. So whatever you do, you talk, you your action. Mental action, vowel action, and physical action is to become right way. Then you have more, less mis mistake. So mind is more freedom. When you talking wrong, doing wrong, because of wrong thinking. So if you're not aware, you're not peaceful, you have no wisdom. You can do many things wrong way. So after wrong things, wrong talk, wrong wrong action, then you become remote, regress, and all the time you cannot free from suffering your life will become panic all the time kill a lot of problems so we can if you're mindful in daily life whatever your action and your yeah your your action and become more right way right then you're more live your life become more meaningful and more Yes, more meaningful. Life is more become meaningful. Mm. Otherwise, life is become chaos. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Where we go, we don't know. Eat, sleep, and die. Mm. Eat, sleep, and try and die. Where we go, we don't know, right? Mm. 
So we try to find out our value of life. Mm. Value of life. Everybody want to be good, but they don't know how to how to good. So this practice make you find the the, the way to good, better better way. Even that this life better day by day better and better. Also become life also better life and better life. Mm. That's why we need to, we should practice in daily life. If you not practice daily life, what happen? Then the the unwholesome and skillful mind all the time overwhelm your mind. A lot of craving, a lot of angry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of anger, uh, a lot of doubt, a lot of anxiety. Uh, how to say depression and a lot of problem. Mm. That's why we should practice in daily life. If you want the every day become meaningful, you must practice daily life. <laughs> right? So yeah. in other words, if if we don't when? practice if we don't practice awareness and wisdom, we practice defilement. Yeah, yeah, aut automatic. Automatically. Yes, yes, yes. Right. This wrong practice is already <laughs> defilement is already. Because of we practice a long time, because of deluded, we already feed it, feed it that this craving, aversion, delusion is all the time. That means is that you are practicing, you are cultivating. So that's why people are very, a lot of craving, a lot of angry, a lot of fear. If you don't know, the fear is all the time there. If you don't know what is what is this, how to do, so the mind is all the time fear and doubt so you your life is uh, a lot of problem mm. that's why we need to practice in daily life also and also nature of meditation must be continuous if you not continue practice this wholesome mind the quali good quality of mind bad quality of mind is happening so what do you want right Hakon, do you have a question? Uh, well, no, no, when? but oh. like in the midst of when it, you when, you when you should be practice <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning, wake up, and this leave time, we should meditate all the time. Mm. Because if your divine may have a chance to arising, then he become very strong and he overwhelm your mind. So we should be strong. Uh, this meditating mind must be very strong. Then the defilement, bad quality of mind cannot overwhelm our mind. Mm. Right. Um, what are the difficulties you see uh, in in many yogis? What is the most common difficulty you see with, with yogis? Mm. Because of many level, it is a basic and advanced. Then we talk. Maybe beginners. Sometimes yeah. beginner, they mm. don't understand. Mm. And also, this is a it's a more, more crowded come. People mind is not open. Mm. That's why it's a little bit more difficult. I want to talk about the personally, like that's why if too many, so we cannot talk about personally. Mm. Um, why do you not? so much um, apply focusing or labeling methods? Well, beginning we practice also this already, but this is, if you become progress, uh, how do you say, this become, if you don't understand what you're doing, that become tense. Mm. If your tension comes, then mind is not, not peaceful, not samadhi, not wisdom, not coming. And also, uh, but because we want to understand the nature, so we try to see the nature. If you too much controlling, then this is not become nature. So you cannot understand the nature as it is. And also labeling is a beginning, it's no problem, but long time become habit. Then they, they become habit and they use all the time labeling, then real natural process coming, you cannot see. Very fast, very quick. So if you labor, the mind is already stuck. You cannot follow the process. And 
also become a lot of yogi become tense because of focus too much and labeling is become a lot of problem. That's why I don't like. Um, yeah, maybe shifting gears a bit. Um, uh, if you mind to share a little bit from your s your uh, practice history, when did you start meditating and? Uh, when did you s decide or when did you uh, become a teacher? Mm. Long story. <laughs> 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 oh, when we are young, I become 13, 12, 12 years old. 13 years old, then I, my father bring me to my teacher. So first time I met my teacher, I enter. He teach me to how to practice and I start to practice. When I started to practice, I very interested about this meditation, but not all the time. Mm. Only short time, short time, many times. But I'm not used to apply in the daily life, so mind is not very, uh, not very, not cannot change a lot. When you meditate, your mind is good. You stop meditating, then. The family is very strong, become stronger. So I have many things wrong way, wrong doing, wrong action, and many things wrong. And slowly, I just, sometimes I meditate, but not all the time. But I'm 30 years old, I become depressed. Because the life is no, I cannot find about the life, value of life and meaning of life. That time I feel meaningless. The life is more no meaning. Eat, walk, routine. All the time, every day we go to business and eat, sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the life becomes more bo very boring. So where we uh, we can go, we don't know. So become depression very strong. That time, I, my depression is that time very strong level because mentally all the time pain. If you wake up, already pain. I'm very fear about the, how to face the, the day, how to do anything is become uh, depression. Our good quality might become weaker and weaker, confident less, fear, anxiety, all, all the time. So. Then I start to think about this meditation, how to use this meditation, apply. So my teacher all the time talking about this, all the time you should be practice. But that time I start start to apply and continuously, moment to moment, day by day, then I can overcome the, my depression and a lot of understanding increase. Then it's a continuously, it's a continuously. You should, this is a continuously meditating. After three, four, five, after five years, then I understand about the meaning of meditation. Then I become one to remove practice. Then I become changed my mind, hope, life. Then my teacher started to told me to teach. I have no plan to teach. <laughs> then my, my teacher told me, then I teach, so I teach. Hmm. Now under 17 years already. Can you tell us a little bit about your teacher, please? Uh, Shuamin Saido. Uh, his history and how you know he developed. He is a he's a, all the time he become young, life become all the time um, his life is a bang life, manhu life. He's intelligent. He a lot of he, uh, before he is a Mahasi traditional is the teaching Mahasi center, but later he d he, s he stay alone and he not teaching too much. Uh, just very close people that he, he teach. Mm. He is a very uh, uh, strict the rule, very a lot of. Uh, also continue the practice, uh, very gentle and very wise. 
I stay with him together a long time and I slowly I understand him about this uh, meditation with the light. Whatever he doing, he talking is because of wisdom. He never talking, even the talking also. He never talk like the blind or deluded. Very mindful, very wisely. Sometimes people asking some more very easy question also. He not immediately answer. A little bit take a time and the short and direct and sim simple sentence and short short talk. He never talk about talk long time. <laughs> <laughs> Only ten minutes, fifteen minutes most. Every time he talk, you learn something. For practice, one uh, one idea. Then, if you listening, then you can practice something about follow his idea. He try to talk something. So only one, no much. He don't give too much. One time he's talking a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. He's very patient and he he, he he's very patient. Sometimes he something to talk. He wait long time. He he think he he wait the right time and right situation and talk. Did he teach okay. the same way that you do, Sandom? Hmm? Did he teach the same way that you do? Yes. Same way. Yeah. yeah. He always oh, talking about right attitude and all. Basically, it's the same. This is the same. Yeah. This, is the same. This is the same. But he not. He he not talking about too much about this questioning or uh, in the uh, investigation. But he he asked me a lot the question. Mm. This means is mm. he already teach me to how to apply this asking the question. What is this? Why this happening? How is ruin? Oh, because of he asking, I know how to practice, how to investigate. But now yogi. As most of yogi is they not they don't practice this the investigation. They use a lot of effort and focusing yeah. to find something yeah. to see there's some experience. Not try to understand. Not try to understand. My teacher make teach me is to try to understand. And find yourself. Find a way yourself. Um, what can you tell a little bit? What motivates your teaching? Motivate. To yeah, teaching. your motivation to teach and to oh, work with your. Because benefit. They also benefit. We also benefit. Mm. When we are talking about, we, we I want to talk about dharma. I want to practice dharma all the time. That's why. When I'm every time I talk the dharma. A discussion, then my understanding level also working. Mm. Sometimes I can, I can, I can not think the way he, they think. So we can learn. I can learn from the yogi also. And they year by year, I my understanding talking with the yogi slowly. I more understanding how to talk to people understand so clearly. Because the benefit, both are benefit. That's why I continue doing. Hmm. Also, this discussion also a part of my, for me, is part of practice to use intelligence or in, in wisdom. Hmm. You you mentioned just now that. Um, y y your teacher didn't use so much the inquiry bit, so the inquiry of asking questions. Yeah. Can you say a little bit about that? How w how important it is, you think, for your practice and oh. yogi's practice? When he asking me first time, I remember is when I he asked me how where uh, uh, do you know the rising falling? Uh, yes, I, yes, I know very well rising falling because at that time I meditate rising falling all the time. Then he asked me, why 
this your abdomen is arising. Hey, I think. Oh, because of I know, I can aware because of breathing. And he continues asking, why you're breathing? <coughs> that time I don't understand. About the experientially understanding is not yet. I'm thinking and talk did not accept. So he said you will find the answer. That's all. He not explain too much. He asking why you you are breathing. Then I find one week. I want to I want to find out this reason. Uh, answer very eagerness. So cannot cannot find the answer. Then I let go and give up. Just simple practice. Then answer is coming. Because of my intention to breathe, the breathing is there. I see clearly, nobody, not because of other people, tell me I can find myself. That is the first, first one that motivate to very interest to practice. I can find myself. This answer is experiential understanding. Very small understanding, but very small experience, but very powerful. Mm very interest to meditate because I can find the nature this mm. is very important that's why I at that time started I very interested to meditate something and to understand so later and slowly I can find many answer so more interest and faith confident coming and very happy to understand try because of understand my is more freedom more joyful, so that's why I'm very interested to meditate. That's why I meditate with more interest and I can see more detail. And inside of mm. now, <coughs> what advice, uh, the biggest challenge is, is practicing in lay life. Uh, could you give us some advice on practice in lay life outside of a retreat setting? It's difficult me is uh, less practice is difficult. I saw many yogi they they not practice in the center. They they come and listening how to practice, how to watch your body, how to watch your mind, and they can practice in daily life. They never practice in center. But difficulty is less practice. If you are uh, practice enough, this is not difficult. Because of people, a lot of people, they start to meditate in the center. So sitting, meditation. Sitting and... Sit, sitting and quiet, then they can meditate. If you at daily activity, they cannot meditate. Because of a lot of business, a lot of busy. So, well, they, 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 they're not happy to practice too much. I remember you. I re heard in a re in a recording. I think it was in Malaysia, where you mentioned a uh, <coughs> advice to a y to a yogi was uh, that said he had no time in lay life to practice, to spend every hour one minute. Oh oh oh! <laughs> so what happens is the defilement comes back down. So he's instead of building on the defilement of the last hour, it comes down a little bit. So by the end, and he did that, and the end of the day, it his his quality of mind was better. Oh, oh, yes. oh. oh. So that this was, is I thought, a, he was said a very he good cannot tip. meditate a long time. Yeah. Cannot hear a lot, of, a lot of busy. So he even no time to meditate. But I want to meditate, so how to do? So I, I advise, you can meditate. You cannot meditate one hour. So you can meditate. Can you meditate one minute? Then he said, okay, yes. One minute I can meditate. <laughs> so one minute start. So every day, he try to meditate. After one hour, he make a chai. He lock his clock. Every time the the the, 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 the clock yeah. chime chime noticed him, he try to meditate one minute only. Away his breathing. But first day he try to he try first day. It's very different other day. Because of the one hour stress is only stress become one hour. But the one minute he meditate, the stress is gone. So he not walking the whole day. He walk only one hour. So after the job, 
his feet very fresh. Then he's very interested about this meditation. He start to meditate one, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, and slowly now he can meditate the whole day. I thought that was a very good practical tip. Yeah, this is a real story, no? Yes. No, 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 no imagination. <laughs> yes, story. no. Uh, I thought it was a great practical tip. Are there any other similar, simple uh, tips you can give, similar to that, that people can apply in real yeah, life side? You can. The beginning is uh, you first. You need to start, and if you know the value about your, your what you're doing, then you can try to continue. Important is understanding the value of what you're doing. If you know this is a benefit, then people become interested to continue doing. Yeah, pretty good. How long? Uh, 40, 36 minutes. Oh. 36? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. reached limit. Minutes. 40 yeah. was limit, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can write more. Oh. Okay. You can explore. Is there anything you want to express? Get out? What? Anything? Is there anything more you feel it should should be communicated? Do you feel you want to say anything more? Is nothing. There? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> because of your question, then I talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Everything I'm doing, no, I will not want to do. But the situation you should do, 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 should do. <laughs> <Yeah. That's> <laughs> <all>. <laughs> I don't want to do too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank